All right, welcome to this Moby Flight release video. My name is Sebastian. I'm the creator of the Moby Flight project. And the Moby Flight project is your cheap, easy, and flexible way to create your own home cockpit. That means like interfacing real hardware with your favorite flight simulator, which means that can be FSX, Prepare 3D, X-Plane, and now with the most recent version of Moby Flight 7.10 also, uh, Microsoft Flight Simulator 2020, this is a new, gorgeous, beautiful flight simulator that just got released a couple of weeks ago. So in this video, I'm going to talk about the most recent changes in Moby Flight uh, coming with release 7.10. And uh, today I also got with me Captain Bear here and Ernie, the first officer, sitting with me at, uh, on, my, on my actual um, airliner uh, seat row. And um, let's head over to the website and take a look at what has changed. So here, the website mobiflight.com, you can always go here to the download area and you can get the most recent version if you have not installed any MobiFlight version just yet. And uh, it's totally for free, of course, it's an open source project. And uh, here beneath uh, on, the same, on the same page, there's also release notes that I always publish um, whenever I, I put out a new version. So let's take a quick look at uh, what's new, what got improved and what kind of bugs I have been able to fix. Let's start with the new feature as already said in the intro, we now support Microsoft Flight Simulator 2020. I mean, everyone in the flight simulator community has heard about it it's been released there was some trouble with the sim connect interface in the beginning but if you now update through the uh, to the latest version of flight simulator if you get fsu ipc 7 beta from pete dowson's website for free and if you use the most recent Moby flight version then you will be able to enjoy the um, easy like ease of use and, and may, hopefully you can also use your configuration that you have uh, already put together hopefully you can right away interface your existing home cockpit or start out as a new home cockpit builder and enjoy like the stunning visuals of that microsoft flight simulator together with this cool uh, feel of having actual hardware that you can interact with so improvements 254 uh, we now provide a visual feedback when you upload a new configuration to your Moby flight module so that actually means if we start Moby flight um, there is visual feedback when you're starting up what's going on something is happening there's a progress bar if you upload a new firmware to the Moby flight boards you will have a progress bar that indicates the progress um, this was not the case for uh, like the situation when you upload a new configuration to your board, which has been also now added. So this is pretty cool. You now know, okay, um, upload is going on in the background. I have to be patient a little bit. And then once the progress bar is um, kind of filled, you will receive the feedback whether the upload has been successful or not. So I hope you like that one. The next one is resize the log window and enable scrolling. So that's a cool feature because it's not made by me. It's actually made by Iadi and he is from the Moby Flight community. He's a developer, full-time developer in real life. And he said, I want to support you with your Moby Flight real like a tool and I have the skills. So I kind of, yeah, he also figured out most of, him, uh, most of it by himself. And um, that means there's access to the code on Bitbucket. You can reach out to me anytime when you want to get started as a developer. If you have the skills, don't be shy. Uh, reach out and we get you onboarded. Really cool. Let's take a look at how this actually um, looks like in the UI. If you go to the login and you enable it, you can now see that there is this little login uh, log window as, as it used to be. But you can now resize it make it smaller or bigger just as you like and if you have more than uh, yeah many lines that uh, are kind of written here to this window you can now use also the scroll bars to easily uh, scroll up and down and 
it's 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 a really nice uh, thing and so much more comfortable um comfortable to use so 257 wider set value text field for the fsu ipc in production that's the little thing it's really really not uh, so impressive but it's still handy yeah, if you have it so if you go to the input tab and then here to this input section if you have an fsu ipc offset this field now is just larger than it like wider yeah than it used to be it used to be short in size and whenever you put a more complicated formula in there then it was really hard to read and it was not nice so this should give us a little bit more room for more complexity and easier readability then 259 allowed for 68 buttons per mega board that was a request from the community and i think uh, like since i also implemented i think they were right so what was in the past there was a limit like i think it was 50 54 buttons at the most uh, but uh, with the um, recent firmware we also support up to 68 pins on the mega board which now can be used uh, completely all the 68 pins can be used as a button which hopefully saves you some of the Mobi flight boards in your home cockpit 260 indicate offline mode in the status bar well um, as you can already see my Mobi flight is currently set to offline mode that means I um, have enabled offline mode here that helps you sometimes, for example, in the case that you have a flight sim that doesn't, uh, that doesn't support FSU IPC, but you still want to use Mobify to send keyboard commands to that flight sim, or if you just want to test your configuration, your input configuration. So then it's useful to enable offline mode and you can uh, then turn, turn on Mobify, you can let it run and in the past there was always an indicator down here that was saying there was a warning and that was kind of confusing so i added this and it's more clear now what uh, what's going on and that you can actually run movie flight in offline mode the last one uh, in the improvement section is movie flight renders the grid very slowly when x-plane is running so this was something really annoying um that whenever you had a game in the background that like your flight simulator and you put a Mobi flight on top the window on top of that window Mobi flight would slow down tremendously especially noticeably when you have um, a uh, a larger config which means like a config with a lot of entries and a lot of config rows and it was hard to navigate through those it was hard to work with the drop down boxes and so on and this is now Fixed. so this has gone away uh, it's really fast now and I hope you enjoy this um, I, I bet you do because it's so much better now um, and the last one is 233 Mobi flight update mechanism fails um, this was something that was really bothering me during the last year because for me the intention was to always provide a, a very very easy user experience in terms uh, also in relation to the update so that means you up uh, you download Mobi Flight one from the website, but then whenever you start Mobi Flight, Mobi Flight Mobi Flight is gonna check with the website if there's a new version um, released, and if so, the pop-up screen is gonna tell you that the new version has been released. So I, I'm gonna show you this real quick. Uh, so with uh, the other release here, Mobi Flight, let's stop this. <clears throat> So here you can open Mobify. Once this is done, when everything is initialized, now it's supposed to actually check, but we can also check manually. And now it's gonna say, oh, a new version of Mobiflight connector is avail available. So here you can say update, it's downloaded, you can see there was a little screen and voila now we are running the most recent version and this is now supposed to be stable <laughs> i hope it's stable for everyone it, i really tested it a lot back and forth and i hope it's also going to work for you just as smoothly as it did for me here in the video okay so with this being the last item on this release notes list I want to uh, say thank you, thanks for watching the release video. 
Thanks for being a part of the Novifight community. Thanks for uh, reaching out to us on the forum, uh, helping other people, also other users on the forums on our Discord channel. And if you like Moby Flight and these videos, make sure you subscribe so that you always get a notification whenever I upload a new video. Um, go, to your, go to our website, www.mobiflight.com, uh, download Moby Flight for free, create a user there, register, uh, get access to the forums and also to our Discord channel. So I hope to see you there soon. I hope you enjoy Moby Flight and I wish everyone many happy landings in their home cockpits uh, wherever you fly to. Enjoy, have a great, have a great day. See you soon. Bye bye.